Hello fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 144. Today is March the 8th, 2021. On today's show, I have whips, I have haul, I have knitting. So sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice. I'm doing water today. Hmm. Your craft of choice and let's chat. So how was everybody's week? Mine was really good. I actually got an FO. I, my finished object of the week is my hat by Veronica Avery. It is called the Pinstripe Slouch Hat. And it fits really nicely. Covers my ears. So I'm very happy with that. It can even come up a little bit. And I'm so happy. Let's see the other thing. Um, Wednesday I went and saw my mom. Hung out with her for a little while. Thursday I would had a whole bunch of errands to do. I still have one more I have to do this week, and then my errands for the family will be done for now. Um, let's see. My grandmother's birthday was Sunday. She is 94. She is in the nursing home here, and they still have not opened up the nursing home, even though they have gotten all the shots. So all the patients inside, or the residents, have gotten the shots, plus the nursing staff and the other staff that's there have all received this shot. Um, they were supposed to open today, but one of the residents came down with COVID, so they are holding off until hopefully next week. It has been a year since I've seen her. Um, she can't hear very well, so going to see her and yelling through a window doesn't work. And I did try to set up an appointment. I had it set up, and they canceled it because she was sleeping. So I, which was fine. I don't want them to wake her up to see me. So hopefully we will be able to see her. I'm hoping next week because it's been just too long. Um, let's see what else. I had the littles on Sunday. We had a great time. I'm really happy to have the littles when Hubs is here because he gets to play and have a good time with the littles too. So yeah, that's really great. So, shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. My Mirror Monday is um, Lady Mirabilia. I am stitching her on 32 Count Haunted by Picture This Plus. And I got the rest of her arm accomplished. And she holds like a piece of cloth in her hand. So I got that as well. That's what I worked on. So after I talk to you guys, I will put her back in her Q-snap and work on her some more. I really like my Mirror Mondays. I really do. It makes it nice to have a day that I know exactly what I'm going to work on. Okay. And then I worked on the Autumn Lane Designs Dark Queen of the Sea. I'm stitching this on 32 count Charles Craft, dyed by me. I have changed her up. If you recall, I am finished with her at this point. She's supposed to have, um, sorry about that. If you see that mist color over here, I have stained glass in my window, so it's showing up over here. I've already stopped this and moved the curtain closed. I thought I closed it enough, but obviously I didn't. But we're just going to go for it. So anyway, if you see, she has a different crown than what was called for. One of the ladies on the group uh, just redesigned the crown, and I really liked her design. So I went ahead and put that crown on. And those corner pieces for to make it look Art Deco, but I decided I didn't want to do that. Or I might do it later on. I haven't decided. And I really didn't like her um, antlers. To me, they just she looked like a deer instead of a goddess or a queen. So I decided I didn't want to do that. So here she is so far. And if it turns out that she really does need the antlers, I'll throw some. I'll rework it to put the antlers in. But I just really liked the crown better. To me, she just looks prettier this way. And it's my design, and I can do whatever I want, right? And Erin said that. We could do whatever we wanted to. So that's what I did. Okay. And 
then I worked on, oops, did I just miss one? Let me look. I think I, yep. <laughs> I grabbed the, okay, here we go. This needs to go back. I worked on the Cricut Collection, A Wicked Patch, which is my Whip Go project for this month. And I got a lot accomplished on this one. So before I had only the white pumpkin and he wasn't all the way completed. So I completed the white pumpkin except for around the eyes, which are supposed to be satin stitch, but I'm not gonna do the satin stitch. I'm just gonna put X's there. I did all of this pumpkin and then these down here and this and this. So I did get it a lot accomplished. Now there's a lot of specialty stitches in here and I'm not gonna do them all. I said there's satin stitches here and I'm not gonna do the satin stitches. These are all supposed to be French knots for this uh, cat and I'm not going to. I'm just gonna put X's. And what they did, so I think that'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I will do the backs, the long stitches that they have here. Um, they have some Smyrna stitches, and I'll do the Smyrna stitches. I don't have a problem with that. I just do not like satin stitches. I have never liked satin stitches, but I'm just I'm happy with how this is turning out. And this is 32 count. Let me look here. 32 count vintage Sahara Belfast by Zweigart is what I'm stitching this on. So I'm very happy with how this is turning out. And I believe this is with all the called for colors. So very happy. I would love to get this done this year. That one I think I can't get done this year. And then I pulled out Mummy's Moonlight Cafe by Praiseworthy Stitches. And I'm stitching this on 28 Count Haunted by Picture This Plus. And I worked on all the bottom there. All those pumpkins on the bottom I hear are all new. I started working on the people and there's a cat. And I finished the open sign. I just need to write open on there. And that little pumpkin there. So I got quite a bit done. I think it's turning out super cute. That's where it's at. Very happy. Very, very, very happy. Alrighty. And then I pulled out uh, Halloween by Halloween at Hunk Run Hollow by Carriage. Carriage House Samplings. And I'm stitching this on 40 Count Heritage by Picture This Plus. And I am now stitching on the grass, but I got the um, tombstones done, the wording done. Um, I put one of the snakes in. There's a spider over here, but I've decided not to do it. I just want to do the fill in of the grass to get that all done. And I also put legs and beaks on the ravens as they warranted. But yeah, I'm really happy. This one is almost, this block is almost done because that's all I have left is to do the, there's two eyes I have to put in. Or did I put the eyes in? No, I haven't put the eyes in yet. So I have to do the two eyes and the grass over here, and then this is done. That block is done. Then I'll move into the bottom block. So yay! And I'm really happy again to have this, to work on this once a week. Um, even if it's a few stitches once a week, I need to do that so I get this done. Because I want to work on um, Shores of Hawk Run Hollow next year. All right, so then I worked on Nevermore by Lila Studios. I am stitching this on 
32 count bell spar buy picture this plus and this is the one I said I had to buy floss for I ordered floss from Garon stitchery and it was kind of amazing I they shipped the um, grime guard one day and the next day I had ordered and they shipped the floss out I got the floss before the grime guard that was pretty amazing but I did get the floss so I got three extra of blackboard and three extra of Chesapeake so I did a lot of work on that Th this this last when I picked it up so I put um, pondered weak and weary in I did the tree and I started the uh, building that's right here the cemetery it's not a building it's a cemetery's gate it's right there so I'm working on that and I put these two motifs in so and I'm really hoping that I don't run out of this brown um, this brown uh, silk so I have to watch that because there's a couple of more motifs of that brown silk but I'm really happy with how this is turning out and it's so much fun to work on I really enjoy working on this so this will keep coming out. I am past my 10 hours on WIPGO, even though it hasn't even been called yet. But I'm going to keep on working on it. This probably will get finished this year because I really enjoy it a lot. And the last thing I worked on is the garden. Let's see. Autumn Dreams. It is the Songbird Garden Series by Cottage Garden Samplings. And I am stitching this on 36 count sanguine linen by Week Dye Works. And with all the called for colors. And that is also the called for fabric. So I filled in, there was a little bit here and then all, all of that down there. It's just that, uh, wait, let me see which color it is. Yeah, it's this color right here filled that color in and there was a little bit of this um, this color here that I had to fill there and put that stitches in and then I'm there's a flower here I'm filling in but this one takes a while because the f uh, fabric is so loose so but I'm enjoying it it's fun to stitch on when I get to it okay so that is everything that I stitched on this last week. So I talked about knitting. So let's talk about um, haul. I showed you, or I told you about the two floss that I got for um, Nevermore. And then I picked up the last floss I needed for Turkish Delight, which was Twilight. So I thought I would show you. These are the colors that are in that uh, Turkish Delight uh, by Rose wood manner so I've got all the floss and it's all ready to go I put it in alphabetical order so when I decide to start this in December I've got it ready to go I have the fabric and everything so that's exciting and then I did get my grime guard of the month today that's what I why this is so late I was waiting for the mail and here is the March look at that Oh, that, <laughs> that yellow is really blowing the colors out. But there we go. This is what it looks like. So happy. So I have March now. I need to go through and see how many months I've been on the Grand Guard list. Because, yeah. It hasn't been quite a year, but it's getting pretty close, I think. So that's everything that I worked on. The knitting. I need to start a new hat. For the little man um, I had made hubs a hat and he, it got shrunk somehow it must have went through the wash we're not quite sure and even shrinking it from the hub size to uh, little man size it's too small for little man it doesn't cover his ears so I we asked little man if he wanted grandma to make him a hat and he said yes and we asked what color and he said red I don't have <laughs> any red yarn I don't believe I'll have to double check but I'm more of a pink and purple and blue kind of person I don't have red 
and I know I don't have any red acrylic and I'd rather give him a hat that his mom can just throw so even superwash I'll have to look and see if I can find some red superwash I think is what I want to do so I'll do that probably in the next day or two so I can start working on it because there's still snow on the ground and it's still cold out so if I do this really quickly he'll be able to um, wear it this winter so we will see um, so plans I will be working on my mirror month monthly mirror or Monday mirror whatever I call it it's, that's uh, Lady Mirabilia I'm still going to keep this week working on Wicked Patch and whatever else pops up that I really want to work on probably be Nevermore <laughs> between Wicked Patch and Nevermore I really want to get those two done so I'll be working on those as much as possible um, anything else I don't think so so I'm looking around here and I have nothing else to share with you so I hope that you all stay safe and healthy and I hope that you have a great week and I hope that whatever you craft you craft it to your heart's content and I will see you next week and I will make sure to close my drapes so there's not all these <laughs> colors coming in from my stained glass on my window <laughs> uh, crazy okay see you guys next week bye